Hello. In the previous video, I demonstrated how in the product library we could navigate to a product model and export to one of two formats a spy stroke Kobe format, which is a spreadsheet, and a PDT, which is also a spreadsheet in a SIBC PDT format. And also there was a zip uh, or export, which was the documents that the Kobe Stroke Spy spreadsheet related to. However, that's great for just a product, but if you're a product manufacturer or a contractor who has to put together a series of products into that format for a specific system for a project, then you're going to need something a bit more comprehensive. And I've got that issue on a project that I'm working on, and this is how I've handled it. We have a section called projects and in projects we can create a new project i've got a couple of a uh, few projects here one of which is uh, the one i've been testing out this which is an energy center and i've got some systems so i've divided this up so that i can create and package products into the different systems i've been given information about the products that are going to be used on the BEM system, so that's the one I've been working with. And in there, I can, I've added these products from these different manufacturers, and I've also can set the classification and the project reference for these products. So I click on that, and I can also set what the address is as well. So, and the other thing that I'm able to do is I can set a replacement cost. So the reason we don't have the replacement cost on the product model is because that's going to change and it'd be different for different projects. So I can do that here. I can also get rid of it and I can jump straight to the product. Now you'll notice here that I'm actually logged in. So the system knows who I am because you can't get this button to come up unless you are logged in. If I just go to another supplier, I'll show you how that works. So I'll pick ability and I'll go to one of their pro one of the products that we've got in here. So we'll pick one of those and go to the product model. And once we're in there, we get a little basket. So when I click on the basket, it allows me to add it to the project. So It'll remember which project you were on last. So those are my three projects. So if I choose my active plan project, it will then list out the systems that I've got in the active plan project. So I said heating and cooling, and then I'll put a project references fan coil 01. Uh, it's the UK office, and that's the only classification I've got against that template. So if I just do that, it now tells me it's been added to the project. So if I go back to projects and go to my Active Plan Health Center one there, go to systems there and products, I've got three products in there, heating and cooling, and there we can see it. And then if we just click that, see it's the same one there, and then I can add a cost in there, say 350 quid, like that. And I can also get rid of it. That's how we do that. So let's now have a look and see what sort of detail. We'll go back to the other project. So we'll go to the project, this one here. If we just go to edit, we can see what details that we can edit here. So you'll notice that there's details here that go into the Kobe spreadsheet. We've also got a, an address with a geolocation and look at the systems we've got and go to BEM system there click on that there and then to export now we don't have any options to put in click the spy export open up that so we've now got our spreadsheet there we've got a range of contacts as you can see most of those are manufacturers. 
we've got our facility details there millimeters for currency etc got our types filled in here and we've got a model number here for each of those products and then we've got some of those refactored to what they're going to be called in the project so we wouldn't output this until we've done all of those one of those products has got a bit of maintenance information two of those products have got maintenance information because they're two different products there same information and that's held of obviously in the product library you're able to add a maintenance job to many uh, that's the same to many different products and here we've got the document folder structure and those are the documents and then they have descriptions let's pull that out a bit there got the descriptions some of which we filled in some of which we haven't and then obviously all the attribute information about each one of the individual each one of those document uh, uh, products sorry okay so that's the spreadsheet and now the zip file so if we open that up that's it everything there right that that's about wraps it up for this thanks very much for watching